In the early 1970s, the U.S. Army's military police service sought a new quick response, air transportable wheeled armored vehicle and this was fleshed out with a formal request drawn up in 1976. Vern Corporation moved to fulfill the request and produced two pilot forms for 1978 but the military police abandoned the venture by this time. The resulting design, the Dragoon, was eventually adopted in small numbers by the United States Army and Navy and served in experimental, security and patrol roles with official service entry being in 1982. In time, operators went on to include Cameroon, Pakistan, Thailand, Tunisia, Turkey and Venezuela with some of the Pakistani stock being produced in local factories. The Vern Corporation later merged with Aeropoint Corporation to become the AV Technology Corporation. It now falls under the General Dynamics Land System's parent brand. As finalized, the Dragoon became a lightly armored, for by four-wheeled multi-role vehicle with a weight of 28,000 pounds and an overall length of 19.3 feet, a width of 8.1 feet and a height of 9.2 feet. Internally there was a standard operating crew of three, driver front left, commander front right, with seating for an additional six personnel. Its armor construction was of welded steel with various angled faces used for basic ballistics protection. Power was from a Detroit Diesel 6V-53T six-cylinder turbocharged diesel unit of 300 horsepower, this installed at the rear right in the hull. The 4x4 wheeled arrangement was suspended at both axes and road speeds could reach 72 miles per hour with an operational range out to 550 miles. Side doors and a rear door offered the needed entry slash exit for crew members and passengers alike. A fully amphibious capability was built into the Dragoon's design, the vehicle propelled in the water by its wheels. A powered winch at the bow was a standard fitting. Its base design borrowed components from the in-service US M809 military truck as well as the M113 Armored Personnel Carrier APC. As such, the Dragoon was marketed as something of a budget and logistically friendly offering particularly for those nations already operating one or both of the American vehicles. Due to this multi-role slash multi-purpose design, the Dragoon could be outfitted with a variety of weapons including turret-based ones. This led to a 90mm, armed form, two-man turret, as well as 20mm slash 25mm autocannon models. Secondary armament was usually a single 7.62mm machine gun in a coaxial mounting in the turret. A typical fit for base dragoons, however, remains a single 7.62mm or 12.7mm machine gun as seen in the standard M113 APC. In service, the dragoon has undertaken various combat and non-combat roles including general reconnaissance, Riot Control, Engineering Service and Command and Control C2. Beyond these, the base vehicle has also been used as a mortar carrier and ATGM carrier. The Dragoon family has spawned a variety of other named offshoots including the Patroller for Police and Security Forces, the Dragoon 300 and the Dragoon LFV, each with sub-variants of their own.